I know that his mother was forced to divorce his father. I know that his sister was forced to divorce his her, her ex-husband, Hanif. And now you have the situation happening with him. I know another one of his sisters was shadily divorced from one of her ex-husbands. And if you guys don't stand united and support your brother, your son, your uncle, whatever he is to you, where regardless of whether you believe in this TMOA cult stuff or whatever, as Muslims, you have to stand up for what is right and stand against what is wrong. And if you don't do that, you're going to be stuck in a system of oppression that you will not be able to, to, to get out of until you actually wake up and recognize it, acknowledge it, and deal with it. Hmm. Uh, uh, another thing before we, before I, let me just uh, hit on these two points real quick uh, that's in this memo, because uh, I know we're, we're right up against the, uh, the, the, the time here. Um, so, uh, the one thing when they were saying, okay, a sincere talib, right? We only need one sincere talib. And I'm this is for the Shura Council. I, I mean, they already know the answer, but it's like on a rhetorical question, but for everybody to think about. It. Now he's saying you only need one sin sin sincere talib. So are you saying that you believe that all of these talibs are sincere? The ones that are currently still in TMY, because you're saying you know, no, anyone who doesn't want to follow your way, you don't want them. So you're saying if all these people sincerely believe and are down with the mission that you have, that you guys are doing, whatever it is that that is, because if they are sincere, if you believe all these members are sincere, then why do you have, the, why did you want them to sign an NDA? Why do you take their phones mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. any sort of devices that they can, mm -hmm. any of the stuff that you say can get out? 